some blackberries. Hey, Tamsin, do your boys like teddy bears? Yes, they do. <laughs> well, if your children love teddy bears, then they'll love this next story, featuring Hamilton woman Lisa Adams and her needle-felted little handfuls. Lisa Adams' Hamilton home is packed full. In between the dolls, teddies, children and animals, there's only just enough room for her favourite hobby, making felted teddies. I started needle felting about seven years ago. Um, I picked up a kit at Dunk Police Show. Um, Barbara Allen was selling them there and um, I probably bought her book after that and just carried on from there. So yeah, seven years and I'm up to about 500 beers now. Felting is the process of matting loose wool fibres together to make solid shapes. The more you poke it, the more the fibres start to tangle up. And then you can start to shape whatever it is you're making. I can do a basic beer in about four hours, but if I'm trying to challenge myself and make something a bit more interesting, um, I'm looking at about six to eight hours. For Lisa, the whole process starts with the wool. I find that the wool actually is inspirational for me. I will start with a head and just see what comes out. If I'm a bit stuck, I can get out. I've got so much wool now, but I can get out and just have a look through the walls and, and see what jumps out at me, what combinations. Lisa works in miniature. Her bears are usually no more than 10 centimetres tall. Working in miniature is much easier with needle felting. You can keep the character in the little faces and uh, you can buy a lot of accessories and things if you're working in miniature as well. Uh, so I think it just appeals to a lot of people when they're little. And if you've got beer collectors who say, oh, I've got so many beers, there's always room for a little one. <laughs> it's the details of the little noses and feet that brings the beers to life. I think that's something that I find makes a bit cute. Um, so it adds to the character. And there's a lot of different ways you can do feet and noses. Yeah, just whatever suits that bear at the time. Zachary's probably my favourite. He kind of has everything that I like about my bears. I love his hat, I love his feet, and I love his paws. He, yeah, he just kind of encompasses all my favourite parts of a bear. Lisa has a blog and a website, but it's her Facebook page where she gets her biggest response. I started having a page just for my beers on there a couple of years ago, but um, this last year it's really taken off. Uh, if I put a beer on there, it generally sells within a few hours. My lady in Italy has bought a lot of my beers, but I've got beers in France. Um, I sent one to California the other day. Um, I've got some in South Africa as well. They're, they're in more places than I'll ever go. <laughs> the beers have also proved popular in competitions. Each year that I've entered beers, I usually enter four or five and they've all won blue ribbons, which is lovely. It's not only a hobby, it's also her relaxation. I like having a creative outlet um, and being able to create something that other people enjoy is really good. Um, my kids are always really good for that too. Uh, they always come in in the morning to see what I've finished the night before. It's like the pixies have been or something. <laughs> they run in to see what's new. It's gorgeous. And Lisa has big plans for her beers. I've got um, more shows lined up this year than I've done in the past. I'm going to go with Dunkley's to New Plymouth and do the Hamilton show this year. Um, I've got more online shows lined up as well. Um, like I say, this is a craft that I haven't gotten sick of yet, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Needle felting looks like a really great way of getting your frustrations out after a hard day. Well, that's a fascinating process as well. <laughs> it sure 